Hey, welcome back, peeps. Welcome back for week 12 of the TPL versus the Arizona State Impotence and their coach, Joey. And we're about to get a battle popping real quick. Good luck to our opponent. I know he's made a lot of moves this week. And uh, hopefully we can pick out a W. Um, who do you leave out? So let's see. Honestly, don't know off the top of my head. Who do you leave out? Yo, I'm blanking so hard. Oh, Magnazone's not here. Okay, that's that's decent for us. All right, so with Magnazone not here, I think we're just gonna lead Sock because we don't have to worry about a potential sturdy from Magnazone. Um. And we should have a good matchup against whatever he decides to lead here. Alright, let's go. See what our opponent decides to lead with. Maybe Bisharp. Maybe Toxtricity. It is the Bisharp. Alright, so we're out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click the CC. Make him go with whatever he's going with. He's Focus Sash. Had a feeling. But what's he going to do to us? He's going to knock us off. So our Choice Band is gone. And um, to be honest, I might just go, I might just attack him again, expecting the Sucker Punch. I don't think it'll kill us, so why not? Let's go for it. And no Sucker Punch from him, so that's going to be a KO for Sock right there. That's one Mon down. Next up, Toxtricity. No Air Balloon. Um, I don't know if he's Scarfed or not, so I'm just gonna click Earthquake and we'll see. He's gotta be Scarfed to kill us right now, that outspeed. And he is Scarfed. So that's gonna be Sock down, but we have answers for that. out into Heisenberg, our Gigalith. And I know this is his Scarfer. He's Scarfed into Boom Burst. So something's about to take an Earthquake. Potential switches I can see are Umbreon, Pukamuku, Serena. Go Delmize because we'll eat the grass move and the high jump kick very well. He goes for high jump kick, that's great for us. He's actually gonna reflect up. Okay, screens. Very interesting, very interesting. That sound is gonna chip us both. Just go for Poltergeist here, get some damage. Right, he's thinking about what he wants to do. He's going to set up the light screen as well. Hopefully we hit, please. Alright, light play. As the item, so these screens are going to be up for a while. Right. 
and then I'm just going to Tinker Shot in case he wants to switch something in, possibly, on the Poltergeist. Tyranitar should be able to heal a Poltergeist, so he might go into that. I don't know. He does switch out. Umbreon. Okay. And then with the Anchor Shot, Umbreon will be trapped in here with us. I definitely see no reason why we can't just go out under our spin tank here. I could be wrong, or we might be planning something. Uh, I know this thing gets work up and baton pass, so if that's his strategy, that's uh, really good and really original on his part. And he goes for foul play, which we're going to eat. There's nothing. And um, I think our best option here is just to throw off the Toxic. He has no steel types anymore. He didn't bring Magnazone and Bisharp down. So I think that's just going to be our move, just to throw out a Toxic on him. We're stalling out these screens, which is awesome. Got a lot of turns of them, so I want to get them burnt up as soon as I can. Draw Umbreon, something's gonna get poisoned. Tyranitar. He's gonna set up sand. But we're gonna toxic him. So I can see an earthquake coming out here. Maybe even a max quake if he dynamaxes. Uh, I definitely don't want to <laughs> sit here and take it, uh, but I don't know if there's much that we can do at this point. Let's see. Um, throw would be a good thing to go with. Yeah, I think we'll just switch throw in. Let's see what he wants to do. He might dragon dance. does Earthquake. We should take that. Pretty good. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Is he Choice Ban? Yo, I should have I uh, tested Choice Ban like I had planned. Because that's some big damage. Alright, so I could go Dynamax and then Max Knuckle to live. Might not be the play, but that's what I'm seeing to do. What's he going for, Serena? Okay. Interesting. So this might be Serena down. Maybe. And the big boy just got bigger. Knuckles gonna come out. And that did what? Wow. The thing is so bold. So bold. Serena. Yeah, that reflect is really putting in the work right now. Let's see. He's got one more turn of reflect left. So I'm just gonna go maybe another max noble. Now I'm a max flare on him. Just in case he thinks that I don't have something like that. Trop kick, we're gonna eat that. And max flare should take it out, even through the reflect. And we'll get rid of that sandstorm for what that's worth. And that's one less Pokemon on my opponent's team. Still has his Dynamax all over, so I'm worried about that. 
but he should just be able to bring in Toxtricity yeah, and kill us. Um, I'm actually going to make the play and just double that into Delmise in case he boom bursts. I don't think he'll predict the switch out here. And I'm definitely gonna would wanna would definitely see him scarfing himself into boom burst here. And he is gonna boom burst. Alright, and I think the move is probably Serena again or no Serena's gone, so we just earthquake. Pretty sure. Umbreon's gonna take some damage. Probably nothing. No reason why he shouldn't be max defense on this. That's a good chunk, though. That's a really good chunk. A chunk like that makes me wonder how much Brick Break will do. Uh, Brick Break not gonna kill. Hmm, that's tough, that's tough. Alright. I'm gonna double into our skin tank here. He predicts it and doubles himself. Yeah. Hey, we can't stop that from happening, huh? He's gonna wish. So, potential things he could pass into. If we get a few things healed back up here. Um, if it goes into T-Par, how much do we do with that with play like? We do decent damage? We do an okay amount of damage. Um, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna play rough here. We gotta, we gotta predict. We gotta predict the Tyranitar, right? All right, please hit. Please hit this move. I mean, it doesn't matter actually. Now that I think about it, because Wish is just gonna take this thing right back up to full. So you won't be all the way at full. It'll be at like 90 after the toxic. Maybe like 85. We're gonna heal up. And we don't really have much for a banded earthquake switch in. This is not looking good for us, guys. Um, I think we just sack off. Sack off throw at this point. Because we need Skun Tank for Umbreon and Pukamuku in the back. So he should have Pukamuku, this, Toxtricity, and Umbreon. So we are doing a good job at um, wearing down his offense, uh, which I think is really what we need to be doing. Uh, let me just make sure... Yeah, that should kill in the rain. I mean, in the sand. Dang, but he can just Dynamax. Oh, man, that's tough. Let's see. Checking out Gigalith. Yeah, I think Gigalith might be the way here. Maybe the Delmise. I'm gonna go Delmise. We got Colbert. Um, He's shown that he's probably choice banned. Because he's doing big damage and he's not switching his moves. So with that planned out, maybe we go Brick Break. Yeah, because Toxtricity is not coming in. So it's back into Umbreon or Pukamuku. We're 4-4 four, four right now. We need to get a kill before this timer runs out. I really can't afford to take another tie. I really can't. Alright, so Brick Break should do decent damage. And <laughs> we missed the KO just by a little bit, but his Sandstorm is actually going to take him out there, and that is big. Careful when you play in the sand, guys. You just might get hurt. That's awesome for us. The Umbreon is gone, so no more Wish Passing into Tyranitar. What's your plan, bro? Pukamuku, Tyranitar, Toxtricity is his only options left. He 
We still have Cobra Berry just in case the Tyranitar comes in to click a dark type move. But to be honest, with Band, not sure if we live in that. Let's see. Crunch. Yeah, we live. Alright, so our best move against him. Shoot. Dang, it's a roll. It's a real big roll if we if we kill him. Um if he dynamaxes right now and max darkness is. Dang. Alright. Let's just go for the brick break. I'm gonna risk it, man. If he kills me, he kills me. But we'll see. With the Dynamax, he'll probably kill if he max darknesses. But he's playing really well. He's playing very well. The wish support from Umbreon's good. But he's gonna lose his choice band, actually. So we might live with Cobra. We might. Yes, 6 HP. Okay, so this is gonna be great damage. We definitely need this damage. Good damage, good damage. And Teleon should be able to safely come in and pick up the kill now. That's awesome. That is great. All right. All right. So Surf, there's 36% minimum to this guy. So I'm clicking it. He switches out into Puke Muku, he could do that, but he wastes his Dynamax if he does that like me. <laughs> Pukumuku and Umbreon, I mean, Pukumuku and Toxtricity are still going to be issues, but Skuntank should be able to handle the, um, the, uh, Pukumuku in the back. And the outspeed Scarf Toxtricity. We should. Like, I'm pretty sure we do. Scarf. Let's bump him up the timid. Oh, we might have messed up. I don't think we do outspeed him now. Alright, but we go right into Skun Tank here. Oh yeah, we still have full HP Gigalith in the back, so we're looking real good against his uh he's gonna block. <laughs> hey man! You're stuck in here with me, bro. I'm not stuck here with you. Alright, I'm gonna get... We've already revealed Toxic. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click it anyway. Toxic the Pukamuku. He's gonna Miracle this. Exactly. Exactly. So now the safest play we can do now is just to spam Corrosive Gas. We just spam Corrosive Gas until he dies. Like, there's nothing he can do to us. Like, we just spam Corrosive Gas. He, has, he could have Miracle and Reflect. So we just wait for the poison to kill. If Toxtricity switches in, it loses a Scarf. Like, there's nothing he can do to us. And that Toxic is just gonna whittle him down. Uh, we're playing safe here. Uh, in testing, this was my option uh, if I did get versus this thing. He's going to recover. If it's okay, timer is on our side. It's two to three. Toxic will keep whittling him down. We just keep corrosive gassing. Keep corrosive gassing. So that's gonna be this thing's choice scarf gone. 
Pen versus Gigalith. We eat anything he's got. Yeah. So I can just go out and do Gigalith right now. Like, there's nothing he can do. He's, he's, uh, Choice Card. Overdrive does 22 to 27 percent. That's his best move, unless he has Drain Punch and he clicks it right now. But even then, that's probably not gonna do very well for him. I'm real nervous. If he's got some kind of hidden tech for this Gigalith, that's gonna be some bad juju for us. He's gonna Boom Burst. We eat does no damage, and we're going to click the wonderful earthquake. Uh, if he wants to preserve, he just goes out into Gigalith. I mean, not Gigalith, uh, Puka Muku. And we eat that too. And that's Toxtricity down. Good game to my opponent. That's going to be a 3-1 differential once his timer runs down. Good game on him. Uh, he played very well, and I, I knew he would. Uh, when I saw his schedule, his uh, record, uh, I don't judge players by their record. I don't. Anybody can win. Anybody can, oh, can uh, anybody can, uh, I'm just going to click a move. But anybody can uh, pull an upset. I think we learned that last this week uh, with the Charles Ardites match. Um, but definitely GG is my opponent, and that's going to make us 6-3, which is awesome. I am going to accept the trainer, the elite card. I need to start doing that. And um, that's going to be it, you guys. Uh, so we end week 12 with a win, which is awesome. And uh, we'll catch you guys for week 13. Going to be a crazy match because that's our rematch with Redopod. Uh, so as always, you guys, I've been Ace Trainer Ryan. Y'all have been awesome, and I'll catch you peeps next time. Later.